first tonight, two suspected gang members are arrested in a cold case murder. The men are accused of firing dozens of rounds at a Baytown apartment complex, killing one man and wounding a woman. Investigators now say the suspects targeted the wrong people. It happened back in 2023 at the Marina Club Apartments on Missouri Street. Today, one of those suspects was back in court. Stephen Gowen joins us live in Baytown. Stephen, what was the motive for this shooting? Well, Mia, we're told this shooting was part of a gang-related dispute or rivalry. Prosecutors say one of these criminal defendants even told a friend this shooting would, quote, earn him status. Today, it seems it earned him a place in jail. 18-year-old Cesar Nunez standing in front of a judge today charged with murder after prosecutors say he admitted to shooting and killing an innocent Baytown man in January of last year. In court documents, Harris County prosecutors allege it was a gang-affiliated attack. The state will urge its alternate motion for a $1 million bail. Nunez charged along a co-defendant, 21-year-old Dylan Fontenot. In probable cause court Wednesday, a judge read out the allegations against them. The two of you kicked in the door and sprayed that apartment with at least 45 rounds of 223 caliber uh, rifle gunfire. According to charging documents, prosecutors allege the two men shot up the Marina Club apartments in Baytown on January 17, 2023, under the belief they were targeting a rival. Instead, they were accused of killing 55-year-old Stephen Jackson and injuring a woman who was also there. And the allegation is that you and Mr. Fontenot ended up shooting two completely innocent people who have nothing whatsoever to do with your gang-related dispute. Today, Baytown police investigators were back at that scene. Baytown PD has previously said this shooting is linked to the January 2023 shooting death of another person, 16-year-old Baytown student Shane Hamilton. Now, in regard to that shooting death of Shane Hamilton, just about an hour ago, Baytown police told us they've arrested three suspects in connection to that case. The suspects are all day Baytown residents, Timothy Holland, DeAndre Frazier, and Eddie Cardenas. Back out here at the scene of that January 17th shooting, we know that Cesar Nunez's bond was set at $1 million. Dylan Fontenot's bond was set at half that, $500,000. They're both still in jail at this time. We're live tonight in Baytown. Stephen Gowen, KHOU 11 News.